Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GiveMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to talk about SQL Server on Ubuntu. Yes, uh, we did a video about this not too long ago, um, about a year ago, um, maybe maybe not quite a year ago, but about installing SQL Ser Microsoft SQL Server on Ubuntu 2004. At the time we did that, the uh, it wasn't officially supported by Microsoft yet and so there was a few hiccups and everything, but now it is. And I'm going to redo that video updated to show you exactly how to get her get it get it going uh, with all the official stuff. But let's get started. Okay, here it is. Okay, so I here is my uh, markdown document that has uh, all everything I need to do, and this is on in my on my GitHub. Um, you'll also find a link to it on my website at getmethegeek.com slash blogs, blog, and uh, it'll be in there, and I will, let's just get started. All right, all right, here we go. First things first, you want to go ahead and make sure that you update your stuff, and that's pretty straightforward, and I'm just going to go through that real quick here, and because I, this is mostly updated already, and uh, there we go. All right, first things first, we're going to take this command right here and drop that in. And now we're going to register the, the repo. And this is one of the changes from the last time. So previously we were using the 1804 stuff. Now we're actually using a 2004 all right, pop that in there. And as soon as that's done, we're gonna be ready to install already. So first we'll need to do another update. That way it'll refresh the repos based on what we just did. And we're gonna install SQL Server. Right here, boom, and here. And there we go, we're installing and we're off. Okay, so now that we've got that installed, it's time to go ahead and set up our SQL Server. So our next command right here, boom. And here's where you want to choose what edition. We're going to choose the free edition, which is Express number three. You can choose any one of those eight. And if you have a license, uh, you'll just put in the license and that'll go. And you have to accept the license agreement, yes. And then you want to put in a SQL Server password. And there you go. And we are configuring SQL Server now. It's going through all this stuff. It's setting up this Express Edition. And uh, there you go, that simple. Now we're going to check. Now we're going to check to see if the SQL Server instance is running. And you'll see right there, active running. Boom. All right. Let's also take a look at see if things are listening right. All right. So what we're going to do is see to see if um, SQL Server is listening on the port. So I installed Net Tools, and then we're going to do NetStat and look for SQL Server. Okay. Boom! Right there. You see that SQL Server is listening, uh, listening on all ports. Uh, Fourteen thirty-three. Which is the default port for SQL Server. And you'll see that's TCP six and regular TCP. Now, as a SQL Server instance, you're going to want to probably lock this down and make sure the firewall's on. So that's the next thing we're going to do. Remember, fourteen thirty three is the default TCP port for SQL Server, so we're going to make sure that's open. And also, since this is a Linux box, we're going to also make sure that we are able to SSH into it. So we're going to go ahead and allow SSH. Boom. 
and then we're going to allow SQL Server. And then we're going to enable a firewall. It's going to give you a little warning. It says, hey, if you do this, you might lose your SSH connection. Don't worry. If you did everything right, everything should be good. As we go down the document here, we're going to install the command line tools. I also want to mention that my markdown document here is basically the same as what the documentation is on Microsoft's website. If you want to go check out that and more information about where the documentation and how to use their documentation, go check out my previous video um, and that will help you with that. So what we're going to do is install the command line tools now. So let's go ahead and copy this. And copy this here. So what we did is got the GPT keys and the repo, and we're going to do another update. And as soon as that's done, we're going to install SQL tools and this uh, Unix ODBC. Okay. Boom. <laughs> There it is. It'll take just a second. You're going to have to agree to the licensing terms. Agree to the licensing terms and boom. Now, also I would like to point out that this repo here is another change in this documentation from the previous video. And then when this is done, we're gonna also look at adding the path so that uh, when you when you have the SQL Server tools that it's all in, in the path and Easy to easy to use. All right, so here we go. We'll just do that. Boom. And then we're gonna do this. Boom. And this. And now it should all be in there. All right, let's check this out. A super awesome password here put in here. Okay. Now we are there. We're prompt. We're inside it. Everything's working great. Now, that is all there is to installing SQL Server on on, um, on a Linux box now. This Ubuntu 20.04, it's up, it's installed, everything is perfect. Now, you might be asking yourself, how do I copy databases and stuff? So if you go ahead and look at the rest of my document, I give you the ability to copy. If you have a database, you can copy it on over there. Um, and it's just a matter of putting this stuff in here. And also pay attention to the the uh, permission stuff. And you should be all good. Now, that being said, let's go ahead and see if we can connect to this guy via Windows. So. Let me get just right back for that and we'll see what's going on here. Here is a remote connection to SQL Server. And we are just going to go click on connect. And this happens to be at this IP address. And we're going to go ahead and put our password in there. Paste. Connect. Boom, and there we have it. We are connected to the SQL Server. And let's just go ahead and look at the properties on it. Um, SQL Server Express, Operating System, Ubuntu 2004, Linux, version, boom, boom, boom. There you have it. Amazing stuff. Now, go ahead and use this just like you would any other SQL Server and enjoy. <laughs> All right. And that's how you put SQL Server on a Linux box, Ubuntu. And you can connect to it just like you would normally. 
you go ahead and update all your applications to connect to that. Make it a great test test environment uh, if you need to spin it up. And uh, you don't have to worry about the cost of a Windows Server license for this. Uh, I recommend it for Linux admins and uh, other people that want to maybe save a little bit of money on their server licenses. I'm Kevin Stevenson with GetMeTheGeek.com. And this is Tim in another tutorial. If you got value out of this, if you got value out of this, go ahead and give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe to this video. And if you really feel generous, go ahead and check out my Buy Me the Coffee. You can uh, send me a little, send me a little bit of coffee my way, and that would be highly appreciated. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.